right, let's try and do a quick little run through of the coin kit that I put together. And <clears throat> first of all, as a precursor, I just want to say that I stole this whole this whole setup from another guy on YouTube just because I really liked the way it looked and I thought it was simple enough that I could do it myself. Um, so what it is, it's a LAR cooler um, CPU water cooling kit which comes with radiator, reservoir slash pump, lines, little bottle of coolant, and a water block with various other you know fittings, accessories, screws, brackets, whatever. Um, it comes in a box like this. Um, so I don't, I don't think they actually sell these anymore, just so people know. I got it on eBay for like 80 bucks. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, that's what got me started on this whole process. Other than that, um, I had to buy another water block. And I hope these fans, the air turbulence isn't screwing on my mic. They're, they're actually not as loud as they sound on camera. Uh, but anyway, I had to get another water block. I bought these three fans and a temp sensor and more fittings and I think that's pretty much it um, other than that I had to get a power supply to run the coolant this you know these two guys right here because that way it, it at least I'm told <laughs> it takes uh, stress off the uh, PS3 power supply so it's not getting over you know exerted and producing excess heat and anyway I got the power supply for free so you know why not use it I got all of these my buddy uh, my buddy's uncle has like a hundred old computers that you know are just sitting in a trailer so I went and got a few from him to try out um what else there's this acrylic panel which a lot went into making this well a lot more than I thought went into making this it, you gotta be careful with it at least with whatever I use I don't know if this is Lexan or acrylic or what, um, but it's thin and it's really brittle. Because the first time I tried cutting these holes, I just used a regular wood hole saw and completely shattered the thing. It, it really, it was aggravating to say the least. So what you have to do, what I found is you have to run the saw backwards and it effectively just melts through it and makes a perfect hole because uh, otherwise the teeth catch and it just rips the whole thing apart because it's too thin and yeah but yeah melting it works fine and I cut this out with a Dremel and yeah there's not a whole lot to this whole project actually I mean it's not even that expensive it, it all these YouTube videos of guys that have water-cooled PS3s kind of annoy me because um, they don't talk at all they don't explain anything and I want to know how shit works because that's how I work because I like, yeah, I like explanations. So hopefully somebody gets a kick out of this video. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot to it. Uh, one thing is I bought fans. I bought 20, 25 millimeter thick fans. So they weren't going to fit in like this, the hard, you can see the hard drive behind there. Ah! It, uh, it, it's raised up off the motherboard quite a bit. So this, this guy wasn't going to clear no matter what I did. So what I had to do, instead of just mounting the acrylic flush to the bot or the case here, I used these little spacer deals that came with the water kit. They're they're for mounting, I think they're for mounting the radiator on some brackets like on the back of your computer tower. But obviously I'm not doing that because I like having the option of moving it wherever I want, you know, to feng shui my PS3, you know, according to how my chi is flowing on any given day. So anyway, I raised it off and I used this just like door sealer from Home Depot. And it actually doesn't look that bad. Just don't look at the corners. They're kind of, yeah. But yeah, so that seals it off nicely around the acrylic so that the air is getting drawn, you know, from here, you can feel it sucking in and from the sides. And that way it's actually pulling air over all the components, at least hopefully. And, you know, getting you more effective cooling. Um, what else? Not a lot. These fans, the power is coming from the stock fan power. Uh, you just, I clipped the cord. All, I, like I said, I took this all from another guy because I'm not smart enough. Oh, well, it's not, I'm not smart enough. I'm just too lazy to look up, you know, try and figure this stuff all out myself. It would have taken me a year. This only took me like a week. Um, yeah, so they're all just wired into the stock power source through the fan which plugs in over here somewhere and uh, the temp sensor 
is wired. Oops, yeah, the temp sensor is wired, uh, soldered to the motherboard uh, in one of the USB slots um, because there it's a five volt power source for some reason, and uh, there's its little probe right there. Um. So yeah, not a lot to it. Cool, it comes out of there. Goes over and around. Goes up into the PS3. Whoop. Right there. Had to cut out the back of the that back little panel to get the cord or the uh, lines to go in. But yeah, then it comes into this water block, which is the Lar Cooler water block. You can kind of see the name in there, barely. And then it comes out and goes across. And this is the other water block I bought. It's got a little window. It's made by Alpha Cool and then goes back out and down and around to the radiator where hopefully it reaches room temperature and then gets pumped back into the chips so you know if there's anyone doing one of these projects I hope this is helpful um, I had a lot of help from the guy I mentioned earlier uh, in doing this kit he helped me out a lot um, but yeah, don't be afraid to do this. It's not, it's not expensive if you're, you know, if you're patient and look for the right parts and know what to look for. And hopefully I don't get another y lod because I've already had two. <laughs> but yeah, there you go.